Hello YouTube, uh, today I got a commentary, uh, my first Black Ops upload, it's a launch on Domination, and um, basically, I'm on PS3, but it's not my gameplay, it's actually my friend Derek's gameplay, uh, he's sleeping over my house right now, and so is my other friend that bring Black Ops for his PS3, cause me or Derek don't have it, so uh, basically, we're using the AK-74U with a grip, um, and we, uh, I think the perks that we're using, I don't know, might have to consult Derek, but it's Scavenger Pro, uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Marathon, or Ninja. Uh, we have Claymores, uh, Semtexes, and Concussion Grenades. Now, the strategy that you see us doing here, um, we basically spawned on the seaside, and we rushed all the way to B, but we didn't cap it yet to let them know that we were there. We just basically um, controlled that middle area and controlled their spawn with our, uh, our just our guns, really. And we did pretty good. And um, this commentary, that that's like, we're trying to teach strategies, like my Black Ops vids. When I find out new strategies, I want to upload them to uh, YouTube and stuff. And I want to get them, like, uploaded. And like help you guys be better, because I didn't really do that with my Warfare 2. Because when I started making MW2 vids, I um I didn't really know any strategies, and I never did. I just like talked randomly about random stuff. So uh basically, Derek is one from his chopper gunner. He's playing it safe, playing it defensively, and um he just got it there. And this chopper gunner isn't like any domination chopper gun or anything. It, it, we had it actually fast forwarded it because it's not that good at all and it was just a waste of time. So we fast forwarded that, it wasn't that great. Now Derek hands the controller to me to do this Valkyrie. This is a really good Valkyrie missile um, strategy and I did fail with it this time, I'm sorry. But trust me, just try this on your own. This is a really good Valkyrie missile strategy and I had died so I lost my second Valkyrie. But uh, like I'm saying, uh, that is a really good Valkyrie strategy, and exactly what I did was I shot it straight up into the sky, and I um, kept it going up into the sky straight up for a good three-fourths of its fuel bar. And once it hit three-fourths, I immediately sent it down just like a Predator missile, and doing that, it gives you a better feel of a Valkyrie rocket because, in my opinion, I don't like Valkyrie rockets, but I, do, I did like Predator missiles, so I just treat it like a Predator missile. Derek's in the spawn right now. Um, we we're trying to get like more kill streaks and stuff. We were trying to get some more kill streaks. Like me and my other friend here, we were encouraging him, trying to get a good game because we wanted to do a commentary. This was supposed to be a try commentary, but they don't want to do it anymore because we were like goofing off. So we can't really do it anymore. So um, basically. We have, uh, all right, so basically what we're going to do is we are going to talk about uh, some topics, and uh, this is actually going to turn into a dual commentary right here, because my friend Derek's going to talk about the sniping, I'll talk about something else, uh, people complaining in general uh, later, so uh, I'm going to pass the mic to my friend Derek, here you go. Well, first of all, sniping in this game is one of the biggest complaints to all the quick scopers in Modern Warfare 2. Um, most people don't like it, well, sniping in this game, because say you're on a big kill streak, you're about to do really good, and then there goes your whole kill streak after you can't kill somebody from a quick scope because they're two feet away from you. Um, stuff, stuff like that really makes people mad, and it, it makes them want to just stop using the whole gun. And personally, I think that's a really bad idea to do that. And the person, JD2020... He, uh, he shouldn't have done that. That was a really dumb idea. His, he had some quotes and stuff that not many people liked, and they were kind of mad at him. So that's all. That's my topic right there. I'm passing this over to Darren. All right, a little more information about Derek's topic. Uh, JD2020 said on his Twitter... And I quote, he said, quick scoping is cheap. Uh, I don't know why he said this, to be honest. 
basically, he was complaining that it is um, an abuse or abusing the auto aim system because uh, apparently when you quick scope in, um, it'll like if you're not on your target but you're close enough to your target, it'll just automatically go to your target like an aimbot. And uh, basically, what what I think about that topic, and that's actually a really good topic, Derek, uh, is that it's it's Treyarch's fault. I mean, instead of listening to the community, a good chunk of the community, they just took out quick scoping uh, almost all the way. And uh, what they could have done instead was either a take away auto aim from snipers, or b take away auto aim out of the game. Um, instead of ruin quick scoping because most uh, of the community actually likes quick scoping and actually does it, but now they can't, or almost can't. And uh, by the way, quick scoping in this game, you can actually do it, but um, all it is basically is it does take some practice. You use a variable scope and zoom it in all the way. That's what I do. So, yeah. What Treyarch should have done was they should have actually listened to 75%, 50% of the community of quickscope, putting, keeping quickscoping in the game. But you can never take quickscoping out of a game. As long as there shall be snipers, there shall be quickscoping. You can't get rid of it. Um, and, mo and Treyarch, they kind of are shelf selfish for doing that. And that wasn't right at all. Because of what Darren said, the community. And that's all I got to say about that one. Darren? Alright, so the next topic I want to talk about in Black Ops. And I know this sounds kind of like a first impression video. It technically is because this is my first uh, upload. But um, what my other like topic I wanted to talk about was uh, the reporting system in this game. I, I like the reporting system, to be honest. I mean, uh, it's an advantage to all console and PC because, um, like, on Xbox, Microsoft rarely looks at filed complaints against tampering, which is cheating, JTAGging, hacking. And um, Treyarch actually does look at your reports, and you can report a player by looking at their player card and pressing report and four things pop up offensive language offensive uh, emblem offensive i mean uh cheater and booster and Treyarch actually does look at this stuff and you can actually get banned from the black ops servers this is a really big advantage to ps3 players they can stop um all the people like hacking and boosting and stuff because I don't even think PS3 has a reporting system. If they did, I'm sorry. I don't play PS3 a lot. Like I said, this is my friend Derek playing. And um, yeah, just it's a really good feature into the game. Uh, like for the offensive emblems, of, of course, uh, I, I'm sure you all have seen penises, vaginas, uh, titties uh, come everywhere all over your emblem screen. <laughs> I know that's funny. Everybody laugh. Um, but, like, you can report them for Offensive Emblem, and, uh, you can actually get them banned for doing that. So, if you guys do use one of those emblems, I definitely suggest taking that off before you get banned. Um, I used to have one, and, uh, I'm sorry, guys, I know you're disappointed, but I used to have an emblem like that, and I took it off as soon as I found out you could report people for emblems. Um, basically, it was... <laughs> It was a deer, uh, it was a deer thinking of getting it up the ass. <laughs> like, I had a thought bubble coming out of him, and he thought of getting it up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this guy, guys, this game is, uh, coming to an end, sadly. Uh, please make sure that you guys subscribe, uh, comment, and rate. Uh, yeah, so, like I said, first Black Ops commentary, uh, dual commentary. Leave in the comments if you have any questions or requests for Black Ops videos. I'll sure to get them up really fast.